In this video, we're going to discuss the user interface and the different panels that UiPath provide. If you remember from last time, this was the main panel, which is where we use and create all of our code. All of these panels have options to float them. We can dock them back and we can auto hide. This next panel is our ribbon. By default, it loads as design. And here we can create new sequences, flow charts, or state machines. We can save our current project, we can run it, and we can utilize UiPath different functionalities such as web recorder, screen scrape, data scrape, create and manage our variables, and launch UI Explorer. This first tab is a star path. Uh, tab and if you remember this is where we created our blank project we can open up a template and we can reuse previous projects we can also go here for help this third tab is the execute tab and this is primarily for debugging your code you can add a breakpoint you can remove the breakpoint I'm sorry You can step into the code and you can run in debug mode. This fourth tab is the setup tab and this is where we would execute or create our published package. And if we click on that, it will give us the package name, the package version, and this is what we will use to connect the orchestrator. We also can utilize different extensions such as Chrome and Firefox. By default, UiPath utilize Internet Explorer. Here in this uh, panel, this is where we have all of our activities. And if you recall from last video, we can search for any activity that we have. We can add new extensions and activities by clicking here and going to install. We can search for some. We can look for search for some. We can look for updates or all. This here is where we use where we get reusable projects such as the calculator and whatever else reusable components that you create this project is where our current project is and if you remember we named it hello world and by default the first XAML is main over here is our properties panel where different functionalities have different properties so if we want to use a click and drag a click over here. This click would have different panels or different properties than the checkbox, than the message box. Down below here is our outline. This is the overall hierarchy of our project. So if you remember, we have the main, this is a flow chart, then our input message box and then the click that we just created. We have our variables, our arguments, and here, yours may be already docked, but I always click it as auto hide just so I can have more real estate. So this is our output, and this is what you would use for logging and debugging and writing to, to line. So here are, if we use a log, we have error logs, warnings, information, and trace and in a later video we'll go in more detail about these different logging and that's pretty much it for the, uh, this video hope to see you in the next video thanks